Welcome back to the show now. The Namibia Correctional Service is in the process of uh, expanding that is its community service, uh, that is service orders to the Omaheke region. Now the community service orders is a sentencing option, a sentencing option obligated, that is obligating an offender to perform work without remuneration under the supervision or control of an organization mandated to do so and also in return in the interest of the community. Now, this program is currently rolled out in 46 of the 71 magistrate courts around the country. Now, the rollout uh, of this initiative is uh, going to the Omaheke region. It takes place this Friday, the 22nd of September. And in studio, I am joined this morning, that is by uh, Deputy Commissioner Natasha Boyson, Head of Community Service Orders at the Namibia Correctional Services. A very good morning, ma'am. How are you doing? Good morning, I'm well, how are you? Good, thank you so much. All right, I think we have some, a lot to cover on. I think uh, maybe you can start by expanding for us and for our viewers, you know, the sentencing option. What is this, what are we talking about here? Okay, we should understand that community service orders is still a sentencing option issued by the court mm -hmm. of law. First of all, uh, sentencing is based on the discretion of the magistrates. And there's no predetermined type of offences currently listed for Namibia at this stage. But we should understand that we need to differentiate between serious and non-serious offences. Okay. So offences that are more likely to be considered includes offences like shoplifting, common assault, carmen injuria, uh, assault by threat, trespassing, just to mention a few. Mm. But there are also other offences, inherently serious offences like murder, rape, and robbery that is not likely to be considered. Right, right. Yes. And the conditions, what are some of the conditions uh, that comes with these considerations? The conditions are mostly uh, our offices. We have correctional community service orders offices mm -hmm. that normally have to do an assessment, basically do an investigation into the circumstances of this offender. So they will actually interview the offender, they will in interview stakeholders within the community, even a possible placement institution, just to determine what whether this person will be a risk to the public and whether this person actually will perform a benefit towards the benefit of the community. Yeah. So things like whether this person is a first offender, uh, whether this person is a breadwinner of his family, because we don't want to allow the offender to lose his job just because of a crime he committed. Mm. So we really want to ensure that this person continue with employment and maintain still is family relationships, for right. example. Right, thank yes. you so much for that, Ms. Boyce. Mm. Uh, how many offenders around the country uh, currently serve these penalties? Uh, this far, we have approximately 56 offenders serving. It sounds a, a few, but I believe that, just imagine if this offenders was incarcerated, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it would, would have contributed to overcrowding, to cost of housing this offender. So, in terms of the benefits of community service orders, we feel that we have made some strides in terms of that. Mm, for sure. Mm. Uh, what I understand is that the sentencing options uh, options is currently implemented uh, in 46 of 71 magistrate yes. courts around the country, as we've also established earlier in our overview. Yes. So what we also want to know this morning, are there any plans to further expand? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, great strides have been made this far with the rollout, as we have indicated 46 out of 71 courts which was identified in collaboration with the Ministry of, of Justice, Judiciary and Prosecution. Mm -hmm. So for the, the Namibia Correctional Service, in terms of its strategic plan activities, yeah. we are planning to roll out um, to the 25 remaining courts in the next five years. In the next five years? Yes. Okay. So for this year, we have, are planning to roll out to seven courts, which includes now the five courts to the Omaeke region. Mm -hmm. It includes Hubabas, Ochinene, Telas Manas, Vatvle and Leonardville. Later, in October, November, we are hoping to roll out to the Karas region, where we will include Karasburg and Arimsvalle. Okay. Yes. So uh, the, everything preparations are well underway for we Friday? We are underway. For we Friday. are underway, yes. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Uh, take us through the launch as well, please. Okay, we are very excited. Yeah, <laughs> it's sure. a lot of hard work, but I think we have made it this far. And we are just hope, well, now wishing for the day to come. Mm. So the launch is an imperative part of the rollout plan. Mm -hmm. We need to ensure that of officers and stakeholders are well informed about the operations, the processes, but also their roles and responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So the main purpose of this launch is actually to educate our stakeholders. Right. Stakeholders will involve the governor of the Omaike region, uh, her worship, the mayor of Hubabas town, 
various line ministries, organizations, even the business community because we also rely on their support. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, official opening will be preceded by a street march just to get a little bit of excitement right. and to draw people closer to the main idea. And then it will be followed by a official program that will include various presentations by insightful presentations by um, stakeholders like the Namibian Correctional Service, Office of Judiciary and mm -hmm. also the Office of the Prosecutor General. And then of course the keynote address will be presented by the Commissioner General of the Namibian com um, Correctional Service. Mm -hmm. So we are really excited to have a full program but the idea is really to make sure that when we start off, people are well informed yeah. on what to expect. And where will it be, the venue? Where is the venue? Uh, the uh, program the will take place at Koba Lodge um, in Hobabas. Mm -hmm. um, it will be, we have a few invited guests. We have invited some critical stakeholders and then um, definitely the criminal justice partners as well. Okay, now yes. I'm asking for a reason because you know <laughs> when we see events, we see okay. you know, the excitement and then automatically we also want to join as a community. Yes. Will it be perhaps also live streamed, you know, in, in a way? We have invited our media houses. Okay. We are really hoping that they will be joining us. Uh, we also, this whole week, we will be on national radio, all languages, mm -hmm. just to invite people to listen up because not all people will, of course, be able to attend the yeah. event, but at least for them just to tune in and make sure that they are also part of the activities. Right. Any final words from your side, Ms. Poison? Yes, I think I've mentioned that we have made great strides. So the Nomen Correctional Service are really very confident in terms of the benefits of the program, mm -hmm. and we are really committed to retain this momentum. Sure. But we rely on the involvement in active participation of all stakeholders. So we really want to encourage stakeholders to come on board based on their distinctive roles and responsibilities, but also based on the benefits going along with yeah. this program, just to ensure that this program is going to be effective. Exactly that. Okay. Well, we wish you all the best on your Thank launch you. and uh, may it be fruit fruitful. And then we look forward to uh, hearing from you around about October, November for yes. the rest of the rollout as Definitely. well. Uh, but all the best. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. All right. All right. There you have it. In studio with us is Deputy Commissioner, that is Natasha Boyson, uh, that is from the and Correctional Cons uh, Services here talking to us about the process of expanding, that is, its community service orders to the Omaheke region starting this Friday. Uh, they have a lot planned and uh, we look so forward to some fruitfulness that comes from this launch and this project. We will be back after the very short break. We urge you to stick with us.